just have two more art barn classes. Today we are going to be observing and creating beautiful butterflies. Hi friends, I hope you are having a great day. Today we are going to do a drawing and a painting of one of my favorite insects. This insect has beautiful wings. Can you guess what it is? Yep, it's a butterfly. And butterflies have a special part of their design. They are symmetrical, which means that if a butterfly has a circle on one wing, it has a matching circle on the other wing kind of like a person's face. You have eyes on either side, and if you divide your nose and mouth in half, they look the same. So for this project, it would be great if you had either crayons or oil pastels to do your butterfly drawing. And then after the drawing, we are gonna paint watercolor on top. Because the crayon and oil pastel is kind of greasy and oily, it pushes away the watercolor, kind of like a resist. So you'll be able to see both your drawing and painting in the same work of art. Let's get started. finished painting my butterfly and you can see that it's symmetrical because each shape that I drew on one side I also drew on the other side so that the wings match. I chose to use a lot of really bright colors in my painting so the image really pops. I also made sure that I painted my background, so the space around the butterfly. And I chose to use both warm and cool colors. So it sort of looks like there's this pulsing energy and the butterfly's wings are moving. Some of our younger students know these colors as our fire colors and our water colors, so warm and cool tones. I can't wait to see all of the beautiful symmetrical butterflies that you create. Have a great day. So another fun interpretation of the symmetrical butterfly project is instead of doing a painting, you can grab some sidewalk chalk and maybe a sibling or adult and create your own giant set of symmetrical butterfly wings.
you enjoyed painting your symmetrical butterflies. We're gonna end our art barn class for today by opening the red box. The quote today is from one of my favorite authors, Maya Angelou, and she said, we delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. So thinking about how a butterfly starts off as a really small caterpillar and builds a cocoon and then emerges as a glorious insect. And I have a butterfly riddle to share with y'all. Why do grocery stores always run out of butter? Because butter flies. Take care.